I'm Jamie Zebra 23 welcome to my channel um, if you'd like a personal reading you can check out the website jamiezebra23.com my readings are 20 minutes 40 minutes and 60 minutes I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours I also have a new feature same day readings it's a little pricier but you do get your readings the same day I also have an eight dollar one question one answer via email only I typically answer you within about 20 minutes so um, please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back. Also on the website, um, I have incense, sage, Florida water, Florida water soap, um, crystals, crystals, <laughs> stones, pendants, um, pendants. I have uh, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I've got full-size candles. I've also got a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. It's something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on. I'm jamiezebra23.com. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, my Sagittarius. It's jamiezebra23. I'm doing your week of November 25th, 2019 general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Um, keep in mind that these are general readings, they're not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Okay, so this is what we got going on for the week. All right, so I feel like you guys are going out. You're finally going out. You're going to be social this week. I feel like you're going to be talking to people that you don't typically talk to. I do feel like you're going to have a lot of exes from the past that will be wishing you a happy Thanksgiving or just, just contacting you out of the blue. Possibly a fellow fire sign, a Sagittarius or Aries or possibly a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I do see that for some of you, you're not going to answer the phone. <laughs> for some of you, you're not even going to respond. You may even block the person after you receive the message. I do see that for some of you, um, you're not going to be happy with work this week. You're going to feel like things are a little bit too slow. Things aren't happening quick enough for you. I also feel like for some of you, there is a fellow fire sign from the past um, possibly with this king of wands here, which could very well be a queen. This person could be married. Maybe this person is um, claiming that they're getting a divorce and they want to work it out with you or they're working on a divorce or working on a separation. Um, I feel like maybe they're thinking about doing that, but they haven't done it yet. And this could be you, Sagittarius, that's telling somebody that. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody else. If you're cross-watching, this could easily be Sagittarius trying to pull this crap with you. I do see Sagittarius... You guys are willing to work it out with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, even though they don't deserve you. Even though, I mean, I don't know what else you can do. The energy that's coming from this is you guys seem to be the good guys, and they seem to be the bad guys, yet you're willing to go, you know, you're willing to just follow their lead. So it's like on their time. When they want to see you, when they want to talk to you, you're going to take the scraps. All right, please, you know, no. And then for a few of you, this may be Sagittarius that's treating you badly and you want to work it out with them even though they're treating you badly you're still willing to try to reconcile that's your business whatever you guys want to do I can't tell you what to do but um uh it looks one-sided to me now let's talk about something else so I feel like some of you may be waiting a long long time for someone to show up so if you made plans with somebody and they're usually flaking on you they may flake on you again this week so please do not change plans don't waste money be careful so if somebody's like, fly out to see me, unless they're paying for that flight, don't go. Because if they're paying for that flight, then they're going to be there to meet you. Um, so just be careful. Also, be careful of getting catfish this week. There's a lot of weird energy here with this. A lot of, um, with this three, this is somebody coming and this is somebody, when you show up, it's like, it's like, what the hell? It's like, this was not what, this is not what I was expecting. You know, some of you may even have your partners that are catfishing you. So, like, let's say your partner suspects that you're cheating or lying, or you suspect your partner's cheating or lying. I feel like somebody's going to make, like, a fake profile to try to catch their partner in the act. See, I told you you were cheating. See, I told you I wasn't crazy. So, maybe, maybe it's your partner that's trying to set you up, trying to have you go out of town. So, they can say, see, sucker, that's what you get. Um, maybe this is somebody you're not even with, but, like, you know, you guys uh, ended on bad terms. I know you guys are like, Jamie, that's immature. And I wouldn't do that. Nobody would do that, Jamie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I always hear. And then I get 20 emails after every video saying, oh my God, Jamie, that's exactly what happened. But anyway, I'm moving on. Okay. <laughs> All right, Saggy. Okay, now let's talk about something else. Let's talk about work. So it does, it does look like some of you will be getting management positions. 
You're getting whatever this is. It's a better position at your job. That's going to be coming around the 7th of December. Yes, this reading is for the week of November 25th, 2019. But if it's telling me something further out, then I have to tell you what it is. Don't you agree? Okay, so looks like around December 7th. I don't know what day that would be, what day of the week, but around December 7th, 2019, expect for someone to have you become the boss. Let's say you work in a position and, you know, a level up is not the boss. You could still get that level up and not be the boss. But for most of you, it's a promotion. For most of you, this is a positive thing. Now, for those of you that are dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, they want to work it out. You want to work it out. So guess what? Work it out. Make it happen. You know, you can't change what already happened. But what you can do is either have faith in the future or let them go. If you feel like they're a piece of trash, let them go. If you feel like you can work it out, then work it out. Either way, you can't have it both ways. You're either in or out, whether you're the victim or not. If you, That's what I hate. It's like, this person cheats on me every day forever for the past 10 years. Well, then what are you still doing there? Either you like it and you're going to accept it or leave. Get away from them. It's one or the other. It can't be both. You can't continue to stay with somebody who's cheating on you and then complain about them cheating. You obviously like it if you're still there. All right, guys, jamiezebra23.com. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now.